go. All right. Uh, hi, my name is uh, Nathan Gorwitz. Uh, this is the behind the scenes shot uh, accompanying the documentary submitted for the Amazon project. I will be following my university student committee to help promote student engagement and involvement post pandemic with the university. This will of course show my skill set to bring on the film crew as well as my personal ability to work in a team abroad for the eight months that the Amazon documentary will take. And no filming past 5pm and stay out of the storage room, okay? Those mannequins, do not look at them, do not touch them, they are none of your business, yeah? And apart from that, we're gonna have a lot of fun, okay? Who's this stranger, Miss Prez? Well, <clears throat> Nathan here is a final year film student who will be filming a documentary on our lovely committee. It's nice to meet you. So what part of our little team are you promoting? Only the parts I'll allow them to. So namely our events and how we run them. Well yeah, it's good to get a bit out about our organisation considering how much we put into it. Yeah, get some info. Actually, let it, let us let it know about the sacrifices, the events we run, all the materials we need, all the bodies that we have to hide. Bodies? He means the mannequins that we store, like right behind you. We carry them around and put merchandise on them and show students examples of what to wear to parties. Well, um, well to start with, I was thinking of getting a top-down view in order to uh, record the uh, members of the committee to find out why you're doing it and how you're getting everything out there. Oh, ah, uh, well, so. For me, it starts with Jenny. So I've always got to make sure that I'm right beside her, you know, just so that I make sure. Uh, uh, yeah, um, make things easier, like I said, um, yeah, you know, Jenny, she always, she always reaches for the top, you know, so I'm just going to make sure that I'm always beside her. Well, it's good you say that. I'll definitely include that in your interview. However, I think I will start with Jenny, because, uh, it, from what I can tell, she's a lot to say and is very passionate about her work. Uh, is that all right with you, Jenny? Mm. Of course. Best to start with the best, I think. But, um, can we move out of the room so that there's no <clears throat> distractions? And here with me today, I have the president of the Student Association who runs the show when it comes to all of the events. So uh, thank you for having this interview with me, Jenny. Oh, for the, um, for the sake of the interview, can we only refer to myself as President Halloway? I just, I would hate for there to be some sort of confusion as to who's running the association. Of course, but at the time, let me just start again. Uh, and here with me today, I've got the President of the Student oh. Association. Can we make it a bit more of a grand title, please? I can do that. Two seconds. So here with me today, I have the illustrious President of the Student Association, who keeps the student life alive and vibrant across all the campus. Thank you, President Talloway, for being with me today. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to put myself out there and to be a face for these students to recognise as the president of the Student Association. We, uh, we try to incorporate them, as well as our committee members, to the best of their abilities, who they work so effortlessly and tirelessly to make sure that these students get the best out of their university life. Perfect, and the students are seeming to love it, and the community reception to all the events this year has been an all-time high, especially regarding the COVID quarantine. Just have one important question for you. How are you doing it? Ah, well, like all good businesses, success starts from the top. Now, all the initial planning and groundwork, that is myself, uh, also securing the budget um, and making sure that our committee is at their strict positions in the events, so then we can work like a well-oiled machine. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
So we start off with about 30 members, uh, even more if we're having more large scale events and we have a rotating sort of roster to keep them at the very minimum of workload. Uh, this could be for student advocacy or simply just to sell tickets to our events. So one can say that without you, this whole association collapses. <laughs> correct, correct. Uh, even if someone else were to take the position of president and they weren't trained by me to the minutest details, the place would just not exist. Or at least not to the success that I've made it. And cut. All right. So I'm assuming that'll be Heath that we're interviewing next? He seems very supportive. Oh, no, 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 no. That is not necessary at all. I was referring to Tash. She seems like a much better fit for the role. Absolutely. Do you mind if we do it here in the office, though? I've still got some work I need That's to finish up. Absolutely. I'll get set up for you. So here with me now I have Tash, who is an executive member of the association and who, as I'm told, is a big part of all the events that run here. Uh, so how far does your involvement extend to, Tash? Well, as great as Jenny is, sometimes her vision for this place just requires a keen eye and a guiding hand for the paperwork required, especially when it involves getting venue licences and keeping track of receipts and reimbursements. At the moment, that guiding hand is me. So next to President Talloway, you're probably the hardest working person here. Yes. And it's piqued my interest, um, cause I, since I've seen it, but what's the, that under there? Oh, nothing much. Just some design merch to keep hidden until we unveil it. Um, okay then. Um, do you know where Heath went off to at the moment? He seemed to want to give a good amount of input on the documentary, considering he's Jenny's boy. Uh, don't worry about him much. He's just running some errands. Probably won't be back for some time. Do you have any idea when he might be back? I think it'd be really good for him to put in his... No, I think it'd be time to move on and find another angle. But for now, I think this interview is over. 